Here's how to effectively return the side spin serve, arguably the most popular serve in table tennis. Let's get straight into the video. Firstly, you need to understand which way the ball will be spinning. So you either have a left hander putting on side spin like me, or you have a right hander putting on side spin like me. This will put on spin in the opposite direction on the ball. So this will impact the way you return the ball. Another concept is considering the type of side spin. So it's not always just gonna be perfect side spin. You can have backspin side spin when you're cutting underneath the ball, or topspin side spin when you're cutting over the ball with side spin. They all have side spin in it, but it's always slightly different. So the most basic return for a serve is called the push. It's where you're opening your bat and you're pushing the ball over the net like so. You're not gonna be hitting it like a topspin because it has that backspin, side spin, or sometimes side spin, topspin on the ball. So you don't wanna just hit it like that with a flat bat. You wanna push with your bat slightly angled upwards, pushing through the ball. Now this technique will change depending on the type of side spin. So if it's a left-handed side spin, if it's a right-handed side spin, side spin backspin or toss spin, that will depend and change the type of push I put on the ball. If a right-handed person, which is the most popular, puts on a side spin serve, then the ball will be spinning clockwise. So the ball will be spinning like this. It will be coming around with a lot of spin. And if you had your bat flat while returning, the ball will hit the racket and it'll shoot off in that direction because it has all the spin going towards the right. So if it's a right-handed spin, it goes to the right. So you need to contain this spin with your return. So you either need to block the ball using your backhand and forehand and contain that spin. You don't want to allow the ball to go out that way and push forward. Pushing the ball over the net, putting your own spin on the ball. So the side spin, bounce, you need to contain the spin with your forehand racket and push over the ball. If it's toss spin, side spin, the ball will have a bit more toss spin. It will still be spinning around clockwise, but it'll have toss spin on it. So if it hits your ball, it will shoot up and shoot that way. So you need to contain the spin even more, angle it that way and angle it that way. So you have a flat racket, you wanna angle it, contain the spin, contain the toss spin, go over the ball. If it's backspin, side spin, you wanna contain the spin and contain the backspin, just go like that. If the right-handed player puts on a backhand side spin serve, or the same thing is the left-handed player putting on a side spin serve, the ball will be spinning around anti-clockwise, like so. So the ball will be coming around, spinning like this. If I had a flat racket, the ball has all this spin and it will shoot off towards the left. So if it's a left-handed spin, the ball will shoot off to the left. So again, I need to control that spin, block it off, so angle the bat, and allow the ball to go straight with the same pushing motion. So I'd use my backhand and push and I'd block that spin. So you need to use this for a backhand serve and you need to use this for right-handed serves. So the main thing is knowing if it's a right-handed spin, the ball's gonna shoot off to the right. So you need to control that spin. If it's a left-handed spin, it's gonna go to the left. So you need to control the left. We'll start off with the most popular serve, which is a right-handed side spin serve. So the right-handed player, your opponent, will serve the ball, come across the back side of the ball and put on side spin using their right hand. This will create a spin on the ball that will be clockwise. The ball will be moving in a clockwise direction. You need to understand the effect the ball will have on your bat to understand how to effectively return it. So if you just had a flat bat, the ball would come clockwise onto the rubber and then shoot off towards the right. You can see it moving, bang, it would shoot off. So if it's a right-handed serve, the right-handed player putting on side spin, the ball will fly off towards the right. So to return it effectively, you need to do the right technique to control that spin and make it not shoot off that way and obviously go towards your opponent. So the ball will come this way. To return it, you want to effectively control the ball and angle your bat in the opposite direction to where the ball wants to go. So you want to push it with your bat angled slightly. If you just hit the ball with a flat bat, the ball's gonna go shooting off that way. If you angle your bat and force the ball to go that way, it's actually gonna cancel out. So the ball will hit going clockwise. It will wanna shoot that way, but it won't, and it'll go straight. Now, of course, there's varying spins I said earlier. So there could be a toss spin side spin or toss spin back spin. So your opponent could cut underneath the ball and put on back spin side spin. And that way you need to open your bat slightly more upwards and push the ball over the net. So it's coming, push underneath it. If it has side spin, toss spin, see so your opponent with a right hand, 
puts on topspin sidespin, then you need to slightly control the racket over slightly so the ball doesn't shoot up because of the topspin. So the main thing, angle your bat this way to control the ball from spinning out that way. And if it's sidespin, backspin, then cut underneath, push it over the net. If it's sidespin, topspin, the ball wants to jump up, so you slightly need to go over the ball more and angle your bat like that. So as I'm a left-hander, when someone does a right-handed sidespin serve, I return it like this with my backhand. So I'm controlling that spin, not allowing the ball to fly off, I'm angling my bat, and I'm still pushing downwards to allow the ball to go over the net. Now, if it's a left-hander putting on sidespin or they're using their backhand to put on sidespin, so it's the opposite direction, the ball will be coming around in an anti-clockwise direction. So now the ball is spinning in the opposite way. So if you had a flat bat, the ball coming around this way, if you just had a flat bat, the ball would shoot off in that direction. So to return it, you wanna use the other side. You wanna contain the spin this direction. So the ball will hit your racket and go straight. So to push it, you wanna angle your bat slightly if it's backspin or just sidespin. Push over the net like this using this motion, extend your arm and angle your bat slightly this way. So you're containing the spin, not allowing the ball to shoot off and you get over the net. It's a nice controlled movement. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you wanna watch a video on three killer serves for any playing level, then click right here. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.